Well, Hitman Absolution managed to sneak right by us when it initially came out due to the fact that we were preoccupied with some other games at the time. However, I finally did get the chance to sit down with Agent 47's latest, let's call it an adventure, and now I'm finally ready to tell you whether or not Hitman hits the mark or if it sucks worse than a Kardashian reality show. Let's find out. Go with God, mother. Agent 47 is back in action, and this time his mission is to rescue a girl named Victoria. You see, the shadowy government organization known as The Agency has been doing unspeakable experiments on her, and Agent 47 isn't going to stand for it. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the plot of one of my favorite sci-fi shows that was canceled way too soon. Anyway, throughout the story, the player will be introduced to a host of colorfully named characters like Limp Dick Lenny. <laughs> Shut up, Wade! <laughs> and the writers do a good job of painting these characters in a light that really makes you want to kill them. There are a few annoying things about the plot, such as the old villain that doesn't kill you even though he really should. Me kill the legendary hitman? Yeah, but uh, I don't need that kind of attention. Really? Really you don't want that kind of attention? Why not get one of your henchmen to do it then? You know, the ones that have been trying to murder me for the last half hour? Overall though, my annoyances with the plot were minimal, and I enjoyed the dialogue, voice acting, and pacing so much that it didn't really bug me at all. Let's move on to the gameplay. This game had some of the most fun moments of any stealth game I've ever played. For starters, there was the Scarecrow disguise that allows players to go stealth simply by not moving in the cornfield, which is freaking hilarious, especially when you play my little mini-game of only moving during the appropriate parts of sneaky cartoon music. There's the point shooting system, similar to what you found in Splinter Cell Conviction. It can be used to take down several targets at once. Or more hilariously, to f up one target really badly. Then there's the various objects 47 can pick up as he strolls around the environment. You can throw a katana through someone's face, set down a conveniently placed proximity mine, or beat a man to death with a hula girl statue. And of course, there's the various environmental ways to kill people, which are often extraordinarily messy and or extremely amusing. The game does a great job of giving the player lots of options, but the choice you'll have to make most often is when you get spotted. You really learn something about how patient you are when you've been recognized for the third time in a row and you've got a fully loaded shotgun at your disposal. If you are trying to stay stealthy though, it can seem like the game is punishing you unjustly as you get negative points for taking down anyone in a level who is not a target. But once you discover that you can get those points back if you can hide the target, the scoring system starts to make a little more sense. Still, some of the most fun you can have with this game involves ignoring the scoring system altogether. <laughs> One or two things did bother me about the stealth system. I kind of wish I could shut doors immediately instead of waiting for them to close. Also, the cover to cover system would be much better if you could highlight the next area you wanted to move to and I have no idea why Agent 47 wouldn't put on a freaking mask when I take the disguise of someone who had a mask, but once again we're talking about really minor annoyances. Visually, the game is superb, with lots of details in any setting you visit, and a dark and gritty color scheme that fits the tone of the game very well. Hitman Absolution also introduces the Instinct System, kind of like the detective mode in Arkham games that lets you see players through walls and draws your attention to potentially useful things in the environment. It also kind of weirdly allows you to blend in and shake off someone's suspicion. Oh, I thought that guy might have been the one trying to murder us for a second, but then he put his hand up to his head, so it can't possibly be him. If you think instinct mode makes the game too easy, you can always shut it off or bump the game up to one of the more insanely hard difficulties. The game also has a contracts mode, which is a pretty fun and simple way to compete with other players. You can play a mission, designate three specific targets that need to be taken out, and see if anyone can do it cleaner or faster than you. I'm glad to see Hitman Absolution didn't put a bunch of development time into making a full-on multiplayer. 
While Assassin's Creed has shown us that it's possible to create a fun stealth multiplayer, this game just didn't need one, and time spent on it would have detracted from the single player experience. As it is though, the single player has almost infinite replayability due to the vast number of ways you can take out your targets in a specific mission. It's undeniable, Hitman Absolution is sneaky, murderous fun. If you enjoy stealth games, you're probably going to have a good time with this one, whether you're abusing the point shooting system or pretending to be a murderous scarecrow. I give this game 9 electrified peeing guys out of 10. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to, um, take out some trash. Does anyone know if we have, like, a trash bin or, like, a laundry hamper around here?